I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I know there's another blackout video, but I just have to say this. <clears throat> I don't understand people. I really don't. You know, we ask ourselves why we go through what we go through in, in life. And, and then we sit back and we ask questions to God and we want the world to feel sorry for us when bad things come about our decision. Let's just say for this this incident with Takeoff being killed from the group Migos. Okay, look, first of all, I don't care who don't like what I'm about to say. I can care less. I told you I come wrong. I come 100. I come 1,000 if I have to. Let's just say this. First of all, Migos is a drama group. We can go way back, like when they first came about, you know what I'm saying, like when they first got got their shine on. You know, if you look at majority of their interviews and, and, and they look spotlight images or whatever, just look at it. You know, they, they have a history of drama. It's a very chaotic group. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, what's his name? The other one who got married to Cardi B. He hasn't... He, don't really be on the scene that much. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to just be honest. He took off with his own thing with his wife and doing his thing. To be honest, he seemed like he's the only one that kind of like matured. But I'm going to just be honest, you know, this is group drama, man. You know, everywhere they go, they arguing, they, they fussing, they fighting and all this. And I remember the interview with, what's his name, Joe, uh, what, Joe Buddy Big. I forgot his name, Joe Buddy, Joe Budden or something. They was having an interview or something, and he said something to the point where he was a little wise about the interview or whatever. They didn't like the way he kind of, like, snipped them off, and they just was like, they was finna jump on him or something. It's like everything that come about with people, like, if they look at you crazy or if, they, if, if somebody say something smart to you, they feel that they want to jump and fight. So they have a history just being chaotic, period, and it's finally caught up with them, basically. So, you know, we don't know what happened at this event when they was at this the J. Prince Jr. party. We don't know exactly what happened. All we're doing is catching little stupid video clips of what what went down and whatnot, but we still don't know in can't really see what's going on, and we and, and people on the on the outside where I'm at taking the videos and putting their own little pieces together. You know what I'm saying, and trying to uh, 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 be part of this unsolved mystery and try to come to a solution with all this gossiping, trying to figure out what happened. The same thing what happened with what's her name, uh, K Kanika Jenkins or Shanika Jenkins, whatever her name is, the girl that was found in the freezer. Man, everybody named Mama was lawyers, doctors, sheriffs, judges, and the jury, uh, the corona exam. Everybody was everybody was part of this this case. <laughs> everybody all of a sudden was detectives. Everybody at home making up their own look story about what might have happened. It was just ridiculous. Facing work in all type of uh, 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 weird ways, you know what I'm saying? And so that's the same thing that's happening with this. You look at people's comments on YouTube, everybody got something to say about what might have happened, what they think happened. Who cares? Look, it happened. Dude got popped off. I, I, to be honest, I don't care. I don't. No, nope, I'm saying I don't care. They was buck wild. They was full of ego. You know what I'm saying? So now there you go. We don't know. I'm not, you know, come on. You know what I'm saying? And then if you really look at it, you look at the video, you know, the little stupid little leftover clip they got. Dude on the ground, dead, bleeding. And it's only Quavo that's asking for help. Maybe one or two people might have tried to help. They only done it. They probably felt sorry for Quavo begging for the help, and they realized he wasn't really getting the help. That says a lot. Everybody just looking and especially that's not the dudes, especially the dudes. They was just looking and walking and basically trying to get up out of there. So that says a lot about 
what might have happened with them. You see on the video, Quavo arguing after the band back and forth, which is not surprising. Because like I said, in most of their recent, uh, well, past videos, they always arguing, fighting, fighting and arguing with people. We don't know what's really going on, but this is what I'm seeing. And I didn't like them alone because of that. I didn't like them alone because of that. The young drama, got money. You know what I'm saying? It's full of pride, full of ego. I already knew that this day was coming. I know, people don't look at my videos. People don't listen to me. I'm trying to tell you I already knew. I predict this day was coming. I knew it. I said somebody going to mess around and shoot one of them because they be too quick running their mouth trying to fight. And I said it's going to be a time somebody not going to fight. They're going to shoot. I said that this was maybe a few years ago. I said that. People don't fight no more, man. People people don't fight no more. They they pick up guns now, man. They take you out. And that's what happened. From what they 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 showed on the video, they arguing and boop, 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 boop. and then the the smoke cleared and one of them on the ground, please. Dad, dead. And he helpless. Trying to get his piece up, and everybody like, man, look, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get them up. That's that's how that's that's how it look. And now everybody in the comments, oh, take over this and take over that. And, no, man, please, what up? You know what I'm saying, man? You want nothing, man? That, that group was drama, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be that. Person that's gonna blend in with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Talking about some, oh, I'm crying. Oh, that was my favorite rapper. Oh, they did. They was one of the group is powerful and the best group of the of the millennium, and they deserve they deserve to not have gone through that. And, and I'm not, no, I'm not born. No, I'm not born. When you live that life, that's what come about. I say all the time in my videos, get with God, get your man right. You got all these millions, but yet you're still living your life breathless. People always, back in the day when I grew up, people who were drug dealers and whatnot, they want their money, they ain't get up out the hood, man. They gonna get up out the hood. They get this money, they stay in the hood. These people, they rich today. This is this dumb generation. This, gen this generation dumb. This generation get money, you know what I'm saying? They may not. Not necessarily go back to the hood, but they still got that hood mentality. You know what I'm saying? Go go invest in a business somewhere. Go home and get you a wife or something. Go lay up and relax. Instead of trying to go to a party and, and gamble and, and, and shoot your money off and trying to be tough and stunting and all this. Like, that's 24 hours with you people. You want to stunt 24 hours whether you're rich or not. And see, when you live this type of lifestyle, there's always someone who thinks they harder than you. It's going to always be somebody that's going to be more uh, uh, egoistic than you. So when you live that type of life and you bring that type of lifestyle amongst yourself and others like your family and stuff like that, and then when gunplay come into the scene, you cannot sit up here and, and oh, man, why you got to shoot, you know? No, that's how, that's how the game goes. Man, that's, that's how it goes. 